Hey everyone. Around July 4th, I know one movie I enjoy watching is the classic 1962 film musical, The Music Man, with Robert Preston and Shirley Jones. Now, traveling salesman and con man Professor Harold Hill, Robert Preston, comes to the town of River City, Iowa to sell his wares, which include band instruments, uniforms, etc., plus himself as a boys' band leader even though he himself knows almost nothing about music. However, he can't find any interest in a boys' band until he manufactures trouble regarding the town's new pool table, with the help of his former partner and current town resident, Marcellus Washburn, Buddy Hackett. Uh-oh. He has potential trouble brewing in the form of librarian and piano teacher Marion Peru, Shirley Jones, so he starts trying to worm his way into her affections. Without much success at first. Now at the town assembly, he successfully convinces the townspeople of the need for a boys' band, although Mayor Shin, Paul Ford, is slightly suspicious and tries to get his credentials. Without any success. Meanwhile, Harold wins the confidence of many of the young people in town, including juvenile delinquent Tommy Gillis, Emmy Everett, and Marion's younger brother, Winthrop Peru, Ron Howard. Now, when the band instruments arrive, Harold tries to lead the kids utilizing his think system, whereby they think of the music in order to play it. Now, everything is going great for Harold until the night he planned to leave, when anvil salesman Charlie Cowell, Harry Hickox, comes to town, bringing his evidence against Harold to the mayor and the authorities. But can Harold leave before he is caught? Or at this point, does he even want to? Yep. When they got around to this one, the movie that is somewhat inspired my overall series here, with the title anyhow. Mainly, this is not my absolute favorite movie, but as much as I like musicals, and I do really like this one, why not reference it? Indeed, this is an absolutely wonderful film, and one I always enjoy getting a chance to watch. Robert Preston just seems so perfectly cast as Harold Hill. And yet, who can believe that this was his first film musical, never mind the fact that Jack Warner didn't originally want to cast him, in spite of his success with the Broadway show. But it's obviously not just him that makes this movie work, as the rest of the cast is equally wonderful, too. Paul Ford is so much fun as the constantly befuddled Mayor Shin, a type of comedy he apparently seemed to do very well, since he also played a similar character on the classic sitcom The Phil Silver Show. Then there's that barbershop quartet, the Buffalo Bills, as the four members of the school board who start out constantly arguing, but end up as friends constantly singing together, even if they are generally prompted by Harold so that he can avoid them. Seriously, that it's a quartet just act like people who know each other and goof around a little with some of their singing just makes it so much fun. I know that's only a few members of the cast, but honestly, I could easily praise the whole group here. But this is a musical, so we can't forget about the wonderful music, and some of the dancing, too. Now, right from the start, we're treated to wonderful music by Meredith Wilson, with such toe-tapping songs as 76 Trombones, You Got Trouble, Wells Fargo Wagon, and Pick Little Talk Little, amongst others. You just can't go wrong here. Obviously, Till There Was You has become one of the better-known classics from this show, and I can't disagree, as it's such a beautiful piece of music. But the dancer in me says... Give me the likes of Marion the Librarian and especially the Shapoopy. I just love both songs, and watching the Shapoopy in particular always makes me want to get up and dance. Seriously, there aren't enough good things to be said about this movie. It's one I always enjoy watching, whether around July 4th or any other time of the year. So yes, if you haven't guessed already, yeah, I do recommend it. The movie is available on Blu-ray and DVD from Warner Home Video and is 2 hours and 31 minutes in length. Well, that's all I should have to say on this one, everybody, so thanks for listening, and I hope you keep tuning in for more.